Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Titan from Titans of CNC. I'm over here at Half Moon Bay. Drove down here to spend a little bit of time here on a Friday with my family. And uh, that's my wife, my daughter, Gabrielle, and Nathaniel, my son. And uh, basically just taking a little time out right here to have a quick conversation with you. So earlier this week, we made a commitment that we wanted to get to know you better. We wanted to talk directly with you and actually answer real questions and get real about this industry. So besides our big extravagant videos where we're pushing metal and, and showing you know, machining techniques and titanium and everything, we also, ooh, nice wave coming in, but we also are going to every day put up a video, a vlog, and basically have a conversation. We're gonna look at all the comments and we're gonna talk back and forth with you guys about this industry and answer questions. There's a lot of people out there, you know, on YouTube that are like showing you how to make parts, showing you how to do different things, and, and that's all that's all great. I love it. Makers movement, boom, right? But at the end of the day, we have to compete. We have to compete. So making a part is not good enough. We have to go to the highest level, right? Some of the questions that came up yesterday was I want to make more money. This industry does not pay enough. There's no work, you know, in this, in this, in where we're at, right? And, and a lot of complaining, you know, like I'm not making enough money. Um, my guys, you know, how do I actually make more money? So let me just talk to that a little bit. See this ocean? It's vast. It's massive, right? It's massive. If you look at my vlog for yesterday, I talked about the iceberg. Everybody's reacting and making education based on what they see the industry is. And I'm basically just having the courage to say, look, you're seeing the crest above the ocean of the iceberg, but you're missing the glory below the surface of that ocean that is so massive, that is our industry. Because when you go to Lockheed and Boeing and SpaceX and Northrop and just massive, like, like Facebook has machines now, Google has machines, you know, just all these companies have machines, but you don't see it. Nobody talks about it, right? Intellectual property, like they're trying to design their things. It's all private, right? So you have all these schools that are trying to that are building education platforms and our teachers are heroes, but they see the industry a certain way, but it's just the crest. And down below is the surface. We have to understand that. One of the one of my my things that I guess was good early on was I was a machinist running multiple machines, always had big dreams. I went through the borrowing five dollars from my mother-in-law to get it to work get to work and stuff like I understand the trials but once I started my own shop I didn't want to work for the local companies I wanted to branch out and I wanted to go after big things so I went after SpaceX I went after blue I went after Aerojet I went after big companies and secured relationships and went after you know projects that could pay me right and 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 that is something that I did that basically gave us a great foundation. Then the collapse happened, and then with the collapse happening, with everything else happening, we basically turned to just dedicate ourselves to education and solve these big problems, right? So let's get back to the money part. If you're not solving big problems, you can't ask for big money. If, if you're not working for the right companies, that have the right vision, you can't ask for big money, right? If, if, you're, if your mentality is old school, if you're trying to do things like we did 30 years ago, that is awesome that you love the art of manufacturing, but if you don't have the right customers and you're not efficient, you can't ask for big money. The money that you come in will not be enough to pay the bills, therefore you will not be able to pay your employees a good wage, right? And employee, employees, here, here's something very significant. You are there to be a pillar in your co employer's company, period, period. It's not about, it's not 
about you when you're on that floor. It's about that company. It's about taking what they give you, perfecting it, honing your skill, and, and taking that product to the highest level, being efficient, having your quality be amazing so you can put out parts on time so your employer can get paid so he has an abundance of money so he can actually pay you a higher wage. If you're not a pillar and the company's struggling, then you're gonna struggle. It's just cause and effect, right? So employees need to come into a company and they need to come in and actually help build that company up. The company itself needs to look at their culture and their vision and the companies that they're doing work for and go after the work that allows you to actually get paid well, right? And you have to motivate your employees. So many companies right now that were saying, oh, we don't have like culture. Now they're like, they created small groups, academy small groups inside of their company. And on Saturdays they come in and basically make parts. So now people who weren't even on a machine, they get to like make parts and they feel like they're learning something. So the culture's going up. Everybody's looking at speeds and feeds and chip load and surface foot. And they're testing the boundaries. And therefore they're, they're asking to take production up a notch. They're having fun. They're making a game about it. Then the company is now like got good culture and they're making money. And now they're giving money, right? They're giving money away. You know, payroll is something that is good because you actually like, you know, if you don't have good payroll and you're making good money, you gotta pay some big taxes. So it's good to take care of your employees and actually give them a good wage, take care of them so that they can take care of you and make it happen. You guys understand what I'm saying? So I'm, it's twofold. Employees need to do good. Companies need to do good. And you need to go after the right work so that you can your team can actually be successful so your company can rise and make good money all right so my last uh on these vlogs i was at 15 minutes 14 minutes that that was 10 minutes uh yesterday today is at seven minutes so i'm gonna finish up quick um coming up i'm gonna talk about more problems how to get work you know how to solve the problems how to make money and uh because i'm not in the shop today we're not machining anything but on the vlogs we're also going to be like going into tooling and pushing metal pushing ink and on monel you know checking out crazy tools and stuff beyond everything else we do all right so so lift up your company your company needs to lift you up have vision push the boundaries if you're living in old school ways and your techniques are old school you're never going to make the money because like you just it's not efficient anymore you can't make that money okay so it, it is a losing cause if you don't take your techniques to the highest level so you can compete okay so i'll talk to you guys tomorrow have a great day half moon bay oh it's so beautiful it's so beautiful i gotta go spend some time with my family all right guys love you guys Boom.